Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. I just wanted to start off this video. Do you remember this wall? This was literally the wall I did my first vlog on. And now let me get into the car because it's freezing cold. Just wanted to show you that. Okay guys, so let's start off the vlog properly now. I just quickly wanted to show you the place where I did my first vlog, which is right here actually, if you can see it, right there. That's where I jumped down in my first vlog. Um, let me know in the comments if you remember that vlog. And it's freezing cold outside. It's literally negative six degrees Celsius. Fill up your bag and I fill up the plate. I'm really hungry, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make myself some food. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys out of the fridge and make myself some food. So let's go. Perfect. Okay, this is gonna take a while till this is done. So in the meanwhile, we're gonna do some fun stuff. I just found the guitar from my dad. I do not know if it's tuned or not. Okay, woo! So while playing the guitar, I kind of forgot the time. And I almost burnt my food, as you can see here. But all is good, um, I'm just gonna eat this quickly and then I'll see you guys again. I kind of missed the time and forgot I have to go back to school. So, uh, uh, so yeah, basically, I'm running out of the house right now. I'm literally just coming home and the day is over. And I'm just gonna jump ahead to the next day. Take it away, future Alex. Let's go. Yo, thanks Alex from the past. Um, it's a super sunny day as you can tell. My camera literally took like a few seconds to actually adjust to the sunlight. So what's been going on in my life? I'm studying for my final exam. So basically I don't have a life at the moment. Did you stop? Ready, sit. Ready, stay. Good girl, stay. Stay. And come in. Good girl. The thing is, I don't know when this vlog is going to go online because I've been filming like for the past half a year, always little short little clips, but I didn't have any time to like, edit the stuff and upload the vlogs and it wasn't enough to actually fill an entire proper vlog. So I decided just to film, 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 gather and stuff and at some point in time I'm fi finished with my exams, I will edit it and upload these vlogs. So I have no clue when this vlog is coming out. Welcome to the section I call how to cross the street illegally, 101. Look left, make sure nothing is coming, cross the road. Uh, step number two, when you do that, make sure there are no cops in front of your door uh, watching you. Uh, <laughs> hmm, luckily he's been distracted by that cute little blonde chick and did not see me. I literally is the police officer there. I have no idea if you guys just saw him or not. You guys probably saw him for like a split second. I hope you could see that the police officer just standing there. Yeah, so don't cross the street when there's a police officer in front of you, like, literally in front of you. And welcome to my new section called How to Cross the Street Legally 101. So basically, run up to the traffic light, make sure it's, like, green, take your dog, cross the green light, and voila! You officially pass the street legally this time, like, I know, this is stuff you probably do not know, that's why you're watching this vlog, to learn shit like this. Ready, sit. Oh, good girl. And go. So I kind of got distracted from like traffic lights crossing the road and my dog and I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Give a like on this video because why not? So as you probably are able to tell by now, I am the one. I hope the editing Alex recalled that he was sitting in the car singing to I'm the one from Justin Bieber and just entered that, otherwise this joke wasn't funny. It probably wasn't funny anyway, but I hope he did that. I probably should put the away the camera because I'm on a playground and people might think that's strange when I'm running around the playground and filming with a camera. No to Alex in post-production. Try to make this look halfway cool and not absolutely ridiculous or make it look that ridiculous that it's funny. Decide, but don't do a half-half thing, okay? Important. Whee! You know, I always hated those teenagers when I was a kid that used to play on playgrounds. Why would they be on the playground? It's my place. I'm the kid. It's a kid's playground. Go away. That's always what I used to think. Why do teenagers always go on my playground? I hate it. And I swore I would never be a kid or a teenager that would do that. Such disgusting things. Ah, disgrace. Flowers. 
Do you know how I feel right now? I literally feel like a little kid who had been locked in in his room for like two or three months and now finally sees the sun for the first time and is free. Guys, I have a fun story. This is like a uh, a place on planet Earth. It's like a, a midget town because like they're midget houses. I know that this is like a garden place where people have like little houses and gardens and they do like gardening stuff inside. So basically they pay to be able to work in the garden. But some of them look really nice. Like if you look at this one here for example, this one is like, like there's nothing there yet. But I like to ca call this place Midget Town because it's just more funny. The story begins now. One day in a galaxy far, far away on a planet called Midget Planet. That probably was the worst impression of any Star Wars intro ever. Now to finally get to the story. Uh, you guys know I had a drone back in the day. I was flying it right here. To be precise, I was flying it literally exactly across that gate. I was flying it around there, not over Midget Land. I wasn't here. I was flying in the park, public park, totally legal. And then my drone tried, it would be cool, to interpret my command a bit different. So basically, I did tell him he should do a flight route, and I said which position to go to. Go to. He just, like, overshot for the goal. He like, wanted to be the coolest drone ever. He just, like, went over the top. I just miscontrolled him because it was my first time flying him or something. But, a, it flew right over here somewhere in midget land. And the people did not like that very much because they all like looked at the drone were like scary. And this woman right behind me right there was just like working there. She also thinks I'm kind of crazy, which I probably am because I'm talking to myself or to the camera. So yeah, if you think about it, vlogging is really strange and I can never finish the story. So basically I was flying over here and like all the midgets came running out of their houses complaining, hey, that's illegal. You may not fly your drone over here. And I tried to get the drone back. Only problem is <laughs> my drone didn't want to come back. It was literally like rotating over all of these houses and I literally could not control it. I didn't know what was wrong. And then it crashed in a garden <laughs> and it literally broke an entire like garden place with all the flowers and stuff. And that person was pissed at me. I can tell he was pissed. Uh, how do you know that he was pissed? Well, he threw the drone out of his garden and was like, Hey, never fly a drone again here or I'll kill you. Or something like that. Something down that line. <sighs> hey guys, little short note from the editor, which is me. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I over-exaggerated for this vlog. I did not crash the drone in nobody's no house. And it was just outside in the park. And... A man who was walking his dog complained, but I did not hurt nobody, I did know nothing, all is good. And I never crashed no drone, no nowhere. Well, I did, but I knew the people who lived there. Yeah, so let's continue. By the way guys, uh, you might actually see the vlog at some time, like in two months of my time now, I don't know about your time, where I'm actually chilling in one of these midget houses with a good friend of mine, Tim, you know him from vlogs and stuff, because he has a midget house, he is a midget, and um, yeah. We're gonna probably like grill party and stuff like that there. And I'm trying to find the entrance at uh, the exit, I mean, and I can't find it. But look, they're nice midget houses as well, with, which are not even that small. And there are people working there, yay. Guys, if you're actually still watching this vlog, respect to you guys, respect, because I probably won't even be watching the vlog at this point anymore. But yeah, um, that's why I'm gonna end off this vlog right here, right now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the vlog. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Maybe also videos where I'm actually doing something because I'm not stuck in my room or running through midget land trying to find an exit. Like legit, I have no clue where I am. I literally, like there's midget houses there. There are midget houses there. There's a midget house everywhere. But like for real now guys, I have no clue where the exit is. <laughs> I have no clue where I am. Run around until I find the exit. But I'm gonna manage at some point. Probably like two months is gonna be the next video because I finally am out of this place by then. Uh yeah. Like summer's probably Oh I found an exit! I found an exit. This is the sign for me to actually stop talking. I found the exit guys. Even the exit I was talking about all the way in the beginning with the flying the drone thing. I just thought there's an exit further over there. So yeah guys, it's, I'm good, I'm out, I'm free. Come on lady, we manage. We are free from the midget town. That's it, see you next one. Goodbye guys. <laughs>